good morning ladies and gents good to see you again today i've got an epic battle going on between for public safety for pubic safety and uh, the dui guy it's getting out of control folks ever since for public safety went on the dui guy's channel he is having a connection fit he doesn't understand why he wasn't believed how how the DUI guy's an idiot, and uh, he pretty much says so. Uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible what he's doing now. Anyway, let's let's check out his epic rant. It's like a 15-minute rant, and I'll try to shorten it up a little bit, but there ain't much I can do. Anyway, here we go. Um, as you might have sort of noticed, um, uh, apparently the trolls got through to uh, the... Uh, Mr. Foreman, the DUI guy, uh, I thought he would be a little smarter than to just listen to what they're just saying and running with it. Um, so I am trying to correspond. Well, we are corresponding back and forth an email. Um, and there's some big things coming in the very near future about that because, hey. Andy, here we have a classic move by Chris. He goes in for the, I have big things coming. Every video you'll hear him say that, or just about everyone I've ever seen, I've seen him say that, to lure his audience back for the next big thing that's going to be breaking news. Uh, and usually it, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's just things Chris says that don't make any sense. Anyway, all right, let the attack begin. He's got some explaining to do. Lucy. You got some explaining, you? And I would like to try to clear some things up. And um, if you're wondering, I'm not very happy about the situation because I do not like being falsely accused uh, by an attorney that is supposed to be a civil rights wanting a civil rights activist in our area. Let me show you what accusation that uh, Christopher here is talking about. Apparently somebody kept telling the DUI guy that uh, Chris said that he tried to hire him as an attorney and the uh, DUI guy said he was not representing him. But anyway, this is, the, uh, this is what he's talking about in this comment section. As far as I can find, I can't find anything other than this that he could be talking about. So uh, let's take a look at that. Could it be this comment? Is that Thomas Clay or is that an, an imposter claiming to be Thomas Clay? That's hilarious. The DUI guy responded, you just won the best comment of the day, indicating that uh, he believes Chris is lying about the imposter. Is that it? I don't think so. Let's uh, find the next thing that he posted that uh, could be what he's talking about. Okay, I think this is the comment that he's talking about here. The DUI guy plus says, you went on someone else's live stream last night, apparently intoxicated, I am told, and told the world that I represent him. So I am setting the record straight. Hope that makes sense now. Uh, he didn't, and then the public safety replied, he didn't choose it. I already had my attorney and never had any consideration in changing that. That has nothing to do with what the DUI guy says. But anyway, the DUI guy is just making it clear he does not represent uh, Christopher, and it, and this is this is speculation here. He went on someone else's live stream last night, apparently intoxicated. I am told. I am told is the key part of this sentence. He's telling what he heard. He's not making a statement of fact. He's saying something that he heard. So sorry, Chris, you lose. Um, and I would advise for any attorney who is a civil rights activist in the area to follow your bar rules and. Um, don't do things to attack the people that might potentially bring you future clients. Uh, I never said that he was my attorney and we're getting together. He's getting ready to be my attorney. I don't want him for an attorney. I never, I didn't. If you don't know what passive aggressive behavior is, this is it here. Chris is not saying you suck. I hate you. He's going about it in a roundabout way. He won't actually confront the situation, uh, but he gets a little wilder later on in the video. I'm not going to say I never did because at one point I did reach out to his um, staff about um, back back when I very first needed a lawyer in Kentucky, but that has nothing to do with what we're doing now, and I never even mentioned that to anybody. I actually told him that during the live. I was like, "We don't want you as an attorney." Yeah, I don't. We didn't want him as an attorney for any of this. We have the best attorney in Kentucky. Tom Clay is an amazing attorney. So if a DUI guy reached out to. If you reached out to the DUI guy, 
he's lying about that, right, Chris? Even though you just said early on I reached out to him. Is that, is that what you're telling us, Chris? You want us to believe that? At one point, I did reach out to his um, staff, amazing attorney. And we're not interested in a criminal attorney that can't do civil rights. Our attorney does both. And why would we switch? It was just, he was supposed to be talking about corruption in Kentucky with me uh, from a firsthand person who is dealing with corruption that could share something with him. I was trying to help him with this channel. Oh, I get it, Chris. You reached out to, to the DOI guy to help his channel, the guy with 393,000 subscribers and your channel with 58,000 subscribers. It's going to help out the DUI guy because you're a generous person. Okay. All right. We're buying that one too, Chris. Uh, but instead, apparently he doesn't know how to differentiate uh, lying ass trolls. So what are you saying? Are you saying he's stupid without saying he's stupid? I don't think he's stupid, Chris. I think you're trying to make him look stupid by saying stupid things. From fact-telling um, victims or, or people with actual information that can actually provide. And I'm very disappointed in him. And I would like to let him know face-to-face -face, or at least one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, put a one in chat if you guys would be interested in seeing us have a real Mano, 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 what is it? Uh, mano y mano discussion with you guys being there, of course, but I want a one on one. Uh, and now I can even talk about some of the case matter that he's so interested in. Uh, I can talk about some of that case matter now because I got some uh, advice from my attorney. But um, to be honest with you guys, you know, I am very, very disappointed in the behavior, the unethical behavior of this so called attorney. Oh, Christopher, your pursuit for uh, fame on YouTube is really, really sad. This is really pathetic. You have no idea how pathetic you look to normal human beings. It's incredible. Um, and there's some big surprises coming your way. Um, not necessarily about that, but, but it might be involved a little bit. Um, and I never said that I was... employing to you, I got us just trolls. You know, and if you're... You're going to be in this, if you're going to be on YouTube and you're going to start dipping in, and I'm talking to you, Larry. If you're going to start dipping in to the uh, civil rights practitioners that are here on YouTube in the 1A community, who would be your clients if you did decide to go civil, which you don't do? He's a criminal lawyer, not civil. I love this part. He's a... Uh... He's educating an attorney on how to be an attorney and, uh, you know, because Chris knows better. He knows the law and all that stuff. This is hilarious. Uh, but if he wants to start dipping in, I think he said ambulance chasing, but I'm going to say civil rights. Uh, I think he mentioned that too, which is two totally different fields, by the way. Uh, to be fair to Chris, Chris got that right. Uh, the DUI guy did say that he wants to be a, uh, one of those injury attorneys. Uh, he wants to be an ambulance chaser. He said that in a kind of a funny message that he threw out at the end of the stream. Uh, so uh, Chris isn't lying about that. He did say he wanted to be an ambulance chaser. But if he does decide, if you do decide that you're going to start standing for the people in this community, the last thing you want to do is not know the difference between a lie and the trolls and the 1A practitioners who would hire you. Yes, that's right, uh, folks. Only the 1A practitioners are telling the truth on YouTube. The people that expose them for their bullshit are liars. Okay, Chris, I get it. Your your fifis are hurt. Oh, my goodness, this is just ridiculous. It's so funny. Because there ain't no troll in the world that's going to hire you unless you stay a criminal attorney because that's what those people are is is the damn criminals you're throwing out a lot of unsubstantiated claims there chris you want to be careful where you're going here with this because uh we provide paperwork we provide court records arrest records so forth what do you provide words just words your words but you know here you are helping them commit crimes uh anyway um that's not what this is about and now he, uh, Chris, uh, he uh, uh, accuses the attorney of helping people commit crimes. This is getting into libelous territory here, I think. I'm, I don't know. I am not an attorney, but uh, 
that would strike a nerve with me if I was an attorney and I heard some guy saying this thing on social media about me. I don't know. But, um, yeah, and I, and I don't want to ruin the guy's career. You know, I'm just trying to give him an opportunity to um, come back from what, he do, what he's been doing. <laughs> um, so I'm not happy with that at all. I mean, I, I, like anybody else, I'd be very disappointed. I am very disappointed, but it's not really a huge surprise to me either because over the past three years, I've talked to a lot of lawyers in this area that left me disappointed. So I'm going to give him an opportunity because he is a fellow YouTuber, you know, um, and he is a local attorney. So, you know, maybe he can, maybe he can try to come back from that. Maybe we'll give him, put him on a chat if y'all want me to give him the opportunity to come back from that. In my own personal opinion, Chris, I could care less whether he comes back or not. Uh, I think what Chris is doing here is trying to get back on this uh, guy's channel who he's trying to help out uh, so that he can get more clout on YouTube. I think that's what Chris is the one that wants the clout. He wants the guy to come back. I hope he doesn't. I hope the DUI guy just ignores him. That'll hurt his feelings more than anything else. <laughs> he's never won a case and show me audits. <clears throat> DUI guy must make it right. I wouldn't trust him. Yeah, I think he really uh, shined a bad light on himself. Now, a lot of people don't even want to give him a chance, but I think I think we'll give him an opportunity and see it. Now, I have been corresponding with him. Um, there's more to the story that you guys really don't know yet, but I'd like to confront him directly with what he did and see what he wants to do about it. He already knows what he did wrong. And it's there's way more than what you guys think because of the correspondence that we had previous to the interview. Um, he knows what he did wrong. We've talked about it, but I want to talk to him a little bit more before. Like I'm not trying to do what he did to me. I'm not going to pull him up and just bomb him um, like he did to me with a completely different subject and make him look mad and then hang up. I'm not trying to do that. I watched that live stream. That is not what he did. You provided him with videos that you wanted him to watch. He, he formed his own analysis of what was going on. He never actually accused you of being a liar, but all the evidence that you provided for him certainly did make it look that way. And uh, he has a right to his opinion just because it hurts your little peepees uh, don't mean that he's wrong. Now, I got nothing for or against the DUI guys, just another guy that makes videos. He's an attorney, uh, you know, so I don't care who wins this battle, but it's not going to be you, Chris. So um, I'm going to be the bigger man in the situation. Uh, what did you do wrong? Says Victoria. It's a lot. He, um, he corresponded with me saying that, um, that we were going to be, he, he led me to believe you need to read the description on his video. That's what we corresponded about. We were supposed to be discussing the corruption currently happening with the Meade County officials. That's what we were supposed to be talking about. Uh, he took it upon himself to contact or be contacted and communicate with uh, the exact people who are attacking us, Kaiser's people, and then um, instead of asking me if I wanted to discuss the old Meade County case, which I would have been more than happy to communicate with my lawyer and see what all I could talk about on that, it had he asked me, uh, but he, he wanted to do a shock interview instead. So um, I had given him a ton of factual court documented information that was supposed to relate to the subject that we were supposed to be talking about, but he had communicated with some trolls. He thought that he had some kind of big exposure that he was going to do on me over the, the old 1998 marijuana case. And, um, he didn't do his, his research and he came in all left field, uh, you know, pulling up the record that's, that's sealed at the end anyway. And he didn't solve anything. Uh, but what he did do was he played, uh, a video that is non-factual that was made by a troll channel. He's talking about Dummy Kruger's channel. Uh, Dummy Kruger is now a troll. We're all trolls over here on this side. Uh, we're not the people that expose these idiots for their criminal records and all that crap. Oh man, this guy is just so pathetic. I don't understand how people believe what these idiots say. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. The words that come out of their mouth don't match the video that they take. It, it's, it's crazy. That was intended to try to make me look bad, and he even left some of that negative narration in. 
and let his audience make false allegations about me during the live stream. And I had to pretty much keep my lips sealed. I would have to be very careful about what questions I answered because most of what everything that I could say is only stuff that we've already published. I was at the point in time, I was not allowed to talk about any of the litigation. <clears throat> so, and he, as an attorney, knows the the ethics rules. And that's why he told you several times to, he did not want to talk about open cases. He told you that. He said, anything you can say, you're welcome to say, but don't talk about open cases. And you just kept talking. You just can't help yourself. And that was a complete violation the way he did that complete violation of, the, of his ethics <clears throat> but um and it was unethical as a person too if we're going to have discussions on our channels topics that we're going to go live about oh all chris is saying here is if we don't do it my way it's the wrong way it has to be my way you don't have an opinion your chat doesn't have a, a any reason to say anything bad about me because you know i'm a youtube star Yes, I'm a constitutional law scholar, a student, and uh, yeah, it's my way or the highway. That's what Chris is saying. That's all he's saying. This is such a waste of air. Usually what the YouTubers do, and this is what we actually did, is you discuss what the topic's going to be, and then you prepare for it before you go live, and then you're both on the same, on the same page when you're there. Um, now, uh, I would call that what you call a shock interview. And as I told him, and I'm sure that most of you guys are aware, I'm the king of shock interviews. That's when you go to a government official. You see me, I do it with government officials all the time, but I don't bring them on to YouTube in interview settings, and they aren't part of my community. So when I do a shock interview, it's because I've caught a government official doing something wrong, and then I'm going in person to ask questions. So that is what he thought he was doing to me, but he was basing his information solely on trolls. So a tip of advice for you, Mr. Chairman. Do not take a troll's word as fact. You need to actually research. I don't know, folks. I can't take much more of this. Luckily, there's only uh, about two minutes left of this video, so we'll speed through it a little bit, and then uh, we'll end it. Employing him, I, said, I was saying that I was employing him as a lawyer. That's bullshit. It's bullshit from the trolls. I know that. But why is this lawyer falling for it instead of just researching for himself? <laughs> He's got 400,000 subscribers. I'm sure they would have more than happily watched every single second of that live stream and been able to talk to him and say, it's a lie. Instead, he jumps to post it on his community tab, making a false allegation with me, or about me. So... Um, anyway, I would like a one-on-one. -on -one. I would like him to answer directly to me. Oh, and by the way, there is no community post that says what uh, for public safety just said. It was a comment he made to another person that made a comment on his community post. It wasn't him. He didn't make a community post saying saying that. So stop lying, Chris. You're so obvious. Link is going through there. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting both Chris's family and the family. Well, I'm not going to sit here and listen to him say goodbye and how much he loves everybody because he's a big packer head. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was painful to do. Anyway, y'all have a great day. I love y'all. Bye.